get back with the management of Bharat Dynamics. Just take a look at the markets. We're on the verge of breaking that 17,500 odd mark. In terms of an options data, well, 17,450, that's what the bulls are counting on holding out, at least for today. If by chance we start trading closer to that level or below that level, well, then plenty of bulls will throw in the towel. So just keep in mind, this range is very, very important. Bounces are likely to get sold into on the upside, trading about 17,650. Mm -hmm. And on the downside, you know, if you go below that 17,450, mm -hmm. it could be not a great expiry, actually. And also just take a look at the breadth of the market. We had more number of stocks that were advancing just in the first minute or so. Now those crisscross lines have completely turned around. And you have closer on two stocks that are declining for one stock that's advancing. So clearly pressure signs playing out. Mm. Uh, no, that's absolutely right. Uh, so market breadth has completely turned around and the advanced decline lines will tell you the picture. So they've uh, moved in the opposite direction. Uh, <clears throat> so, you know, 17,500 or around about there, just under it is where we are at. But I think, Sonia, we have the Bharat Dynamics Management back with us. Yes, we do. So let's get uh, him going. I think Siddharth Mishra, who's the Chairman and Managing Director of Bharat Dynamics, has joined us now. Uh, Siddharth, is my voice reaching you? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, that's great. Thanks a lot for joining us on the show. Uh, you know, before I talk about the orders that have come through, I just wanted some numbers. Uh, in Q4, or at least until November of last year, your order inflow was around 2,950 crores. Uh, but the estimate that you had put out was about 10,000 crores of orders for FY23. So the ask rate for Q4 looked very steep. Can you tell us what the order inflow has been up until now and will you be able to meet this 10,000 crore target? Uh, yes, uh, good morning. Uh, in fact, uh, we have already reached uh, 2000, uh, around 4,500 crores, more than that, uh, order this year. And uh, there is one more uh, big order we are uh, expecting. And I, I, as I had told it before, that uh, either by end of this financial year or beginning of this uh, financial uh, next financial year we will be getting this uh, order of third and fourth uh, regiment of uh, akash and uh, i'm sure that uh, we will be getting by then so my uh, this year's order book will be uh, more than 10000 crores 10000 okay. you you said you taken in 4000 crores of orders this year in fi23 so far and yes. the Akash 3rd and 4th Regiment orders yes. will be coming in by the end of this financial year. Uh, so, right? Yes. Maybe it, it yes. falls in this FI or the next one? Yes. Okay. And and the total orders... I, this uh, will uh, totally depends. Yeah. Sorry, go on. See, this year we have already... Uh, uh, what I, what uh, I want to tell you that we already crossed 4,000 crores order. And uh, uh, so, uh, more than uh, 6,000 crore order we are expecting either by next uh, uh, month end or uh, by uh, beginning of uh, next financial year. So okay, uh, we were expecting that this will finish it this year. So these yes. multiple MOUs that you signed at the Aero show, uh, what is the timeline in terms of execution for these orders? Will any of this come through in FY24? Uh, see, uh, all the MOUs which we have signed, uh, the major one, uh, there are three major MOUs. Uh, one is uh, we have signed with Thales for uh, uh, laser guided uh, rockets. Second one we have signed uh, with Edge Group of uh, UA uh, for uh, manufacturing of uh, Altaric uh, 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 guided uh, munition. And uh, third one uh, we have signed with Bull, uh, Fro. So uh, these three uh, things uh, we are not expecting by next year, but certainly next to next year uh, we will start manufacturing these uh, in India as well as uh, we will get orders also. And uh, these, uh, all the three uh, uh, items which uh, we are going to manufacture in India is not only for Indian market. Uh, we have uh, the, in the MOU, we have very clearly mentioned that we will be working for the world market. So the manufacturing will uh, be in India for the world. Okay, all right. Hi, Mr. Mishra. Good morning. Uh, you know, talking about the world, out of your total order book, what is your order book currently? If you could give us an updated number, how much of that is exports? See, total uh, number is uh, more than 13,900 uh, uh, crores. Uh, okay. And uh, uh, out of this, we have uh, uh, total... 
uh, value of more than three twenty million dollars uh, of this is uh, export orders. Three twenty million. So approximately out of the thirteen thousand crores, two thousand five hundred crores is export orders. Yes. Okay, all right. Uh, Mr. Mishra, you know, what do you end this year with? So order inflow, you're believing is strong. It's likely to come through in the next two quarters. But what about execution? For this year, what kind of a revenue number do you end with? I think earlier we were talking about 3,200 odd crores. You're, you've done around 1,700 crores in the first nine months. What do you end FY23 with? And what about FY24? Since execution will pick up out there, what's the growth we're working with? Go ahead. See, this year, this year uh, we are very sure that we will surpass last year's target and uh, uh, at least 10% uh, growth will be there in our uh, revenue from operation. So we are looking at between 3100 to 3200 uh, mm -hmm. and uh, next year uh, our uh, target will be not less than 3800 crores. 3, and what about margin, sir? What is the outlook out there? Margin, see, see, margin, we are uh, looking uh, uh, more than 20%. Uh, uh, we uh, already, uh, in, uh, uh, in third quarter, uh, we have uh, uh, around 19%. And uh, yeah. it will be more than 20% uh, by uh, end of this uh, year. But, you know, in, so uh, final uh, margins will be not less than 20%. So, in if you look at it, in yes. FY20, of course, that's not a comparable year. A lot happened after that. Even in FY22, your margins were almost at 25%. Now that your orders are going up, you have strong order yes. visibility. Do you think you can get back to 25% margins by the end of FY24? Is that a possibility? See, we had, uh, uh, if you compare our... Uh, 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 value uh, of uh, revenue uh, till uh, Q3 and uh, uh, margins. Margins have uh, certainly uh, come down, but, the, but uh, this has come down because my R&D expenditures have gone uh, considerably high. Uh, mm -hmm. If you compare it uh, from uh, year on year, uh, it, you, from 32 crores, we have uh, crossed uh, R&D to 100 crores, more than 100 crores. And this is because now we are getting into a lot of new products. Uh, our uh, the latest product uh, that is uh, our uh, ULPGM, that is uh, UAV launched uh, uh, precision guided uh, missile, uh, has already uh, cleared uh, uh, user right. trials and we may get uh, uh, some orders very uh, uh, soon. So because of uh, these new products which we are getting into by R&D uh, &D budget has gone up and because of that the margins have come down. But I'm sure by end of this uh, uh, year end our margins uh, will uh, cross uh, at least 20%. Right will be 20% uh, plus. What What is the steady state revenue growth though? You said 10% uh, 23, FI 24, uh, the implied growth is 20%. Will it be, uh, what should we expect? Uh, will it yes. be, you know, between this range, uh, you know, 10, 15% or so? Is that what, what one, sh one should work with? See, this year, uh, minimum 10% growth will be there. That is uh, around 3,100 to 3,200 in between these two. And uh, certainly next year, it will not be less than 3,800 crores. So that is 20%. My, my question is, what is, uh, is will, will it be lumpy depending on the orders and execution? So it could be, uh, or, or is there, I mean, a, a broad number in terms of top line growth that one can work see, with? See, certainly. Cert no, yeah. no, no, no. See, hmm. I'll tell you, uh, we already have uh, now the order books uh, and uh, uh, this year, uh, the we were expecting a higher growth, but uh, because of this uh, uh, Ukraine-Russia war, uh, there is some issue of uh, 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 electronic components uh, we are not uh, getting. And, uh, but we have mitigated uh, all the issues. Now the production has uh, picked up and I'm sure by next year, uh, uh, all uh, <coughs> pending orders we will start uh, uh, executing. So okay. certainly 3,800 is a good possibility. All right, very quickly, Mr. Mishra, before we let you go, things are looking up for the defense sector here in India, and there's a lot of focus out there. I recall when you came out with an IPO at around 424, 30 rupees odd, appetite wasn't great and the stock was languishing. Now the price is almost double. What the government of India wants to do, do they want to divest some stake? They hold currently around 75%. Have you heard anything in terms of an OFS or some stake sale? No, 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 no. I don't think, uh, uh, I've not heard anything from Government of India and, uh, uh, and uh, 
to my uh, uh, my personal uh, view is that uh, uh, there is nothing uh, in recent uh, future uh, any more disbursement uh, will take place. Okay, so but no, it totally uh, depends upon government of India. Absolutely, I, I we agree that uh, you know the decision will eventually be taken by the government of India. But you are have a better understanding than us, hence we wanted to get an update on what the situation is on the ground. Thanks a lot for joining in. Appreciate uh, all the numbers that you shared with us and the growth for the company. It has been one of the strongest stocks in the last one to two years, given a lot of returns to shareholders. So hope you continue to do that.